at Sarat Chandra IAS Academy, along with the offline coaching, we are providing UPSC civil services online coaching. However, traditionally, most of the students and parents think that only in the offline coaching there will be a human touch where real time doubt clarification is possible, where if they write the exams, it can be evaluated by the faculty and faculty can sit with the student and personally give feedback on answer writing, mains answer writing, essay writing or a, a faculty can personally tell the student where he has to improve. Due to these reasons, traditionally most of the students and parents prefer offline IAS coaching. Even at Sarat Chandra IAS Academy also, we have got several students in the offline coaching. However, from the past two to three years, online coaching has become imminent because of COVID. So even Sarat Chandra IAS Academy, we have our own platform for online classes and we have students across India for both English medium and Hindi medium online live and interactive classes. And in the live classes, in our online classes, along with our expert faculty, we have several IAS, IPS, IRS officers, both serving as well as tied, who are taking certain classes to the students. So today, we want to explain how we are trying to bring this online coaching almost very close to the offline coaching. So students who cannot come to Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh to our academy, wherever they are, they can actually take our online classes and we are trying to make it almost similar to the offline classes in the below ways we are going to explain how we are going to make it so i am sarat chandra along with me i have associate directors of sarat chandra is academy so friends point number one every day there would be three hours of live classes taken by the expert faculty after every one hour of the class there will be 10 to 15 minutes doubt clarification session so during the one hour whatever topic the students listen to they can ask doubts so that in the real time the faculty clears those doubts so it is similar to the offline secondly after the three hours of the class when the faculty is going to leave they will give few prelims as well as mains questions on the topic and those questions shall be answered by the evening and students after answering those questions can upload the answers in our Sarachandra IAS Academy online platform. We have our own application. There you can upload. And we have a separate team of evaluators. The team which takes the classes are expert faculty and some IAS officers. The team who evaluate the papers are a different team, different team of experts. So they download all the papers that the students upload, they evaluate them and write the feedback on that and they would be uploading it again. In such a way, students can write the answers every day and get personalized feedback within two days. Also, we have an expert team to make the question papers and current affairs every day. Particularly, why we make questions every day? Because may it be polity, history, economy, geography, constitution, environment, whatever, along with the core topic, we have to integrate the current affairs in preparing question paper. Hence, every day the team works and prepares these question papers and sends them to the students. So, students can answer them and they can improve their answer writing abilities and also they can improve their objective question answering skills like eliminating the um, wrong options to arrive at the right option they can uh, get to it also some of the points will be discussed by other directors general perception uh, regarding online classes is that it's a mostly it is unidirectional but in Sarachindra Academy the online classes are very interactive as Sarit Sar said uh, a little earlier it is bi-directional interaction between the faculty and the students. Whenever student get it out, they can interrupt, they can raise their hand and stop the faculty and ask the doubt and get it clarified in the moment itself. That's the uh, spirit of online classes here. Apart from that, the online mock interview, mock exam schedule, be it prelims or mains, is designed in such a way that it is uh, it inculcates a, a skill which is uh, more prerequisite for clearing the exams prelims 
like a little earlier Seth sir said that it is not about the knowledge in prelims it is about how to arrive at the right answer that you can acquire only through rigorous practice by taking a right test series doing right test series at right time and getting their doubts clarified it serves as a feedback loop for the candidate that it it in, in the long run it they can acquire the skill which is 70% uh, the skill which, which which constitutes 75% 70 to 75% to clear the exam be it not only prelims when you take mains also uh, the the like Sarath sir said students can write their answers and upload and the expert faculty it is the uh, the mains answers are corrected one time from one one faculty from Bangalore uh, another time faculty from Chennai another time even the faculty from Gauthi also corrects and they give valuable very valuable feedback so that they can implement in the very next mains test series or very next answer writing and in a way it 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 uh, the mock schedule or mock test series or answer answer writing which we which we designed is a holistic approach is in a holistic approach where they can write good introduction they can understand the what is they can understand what is asked in the question they can write good body they can add value addition to the answer writing through maps through statistics through flow charts through other required diagram and also add uh, a, a proper conclusion which fetches more than average marks this is this is a holistic and comprehensive approach we follow here apart from prelims and mains also uh, here the belief is that civil service preparation starts with interview and also ends with interview that means the candidates has to acquire the personality traits which is required for the UPS exam that we motivate the candidates to form an opinion on any issue be it local issue or state issue or national issue or international issue so that uh, devel ha developing the habit of forming an opinion and the proper stand uh, we do that through interactions uh, of the students with senior IAS officers also the young IAS officers uh, which is a unique approach is followed in search in the ISA card. See our application is completely user friendly when it comes to online classes it is very easy to attend these classes during the classes you can ask your doubts very easily and the tests which are conducted are very easy to uh, attempt and the results are going to be given all India ranks so you would know your position and you can compare them with your previous exams results and you can see where you are and which in which areas you are improving and you can assess yourself a lot and we are going to give you a complete assessment on this both graphically as well as our personnel are going to interact with you saying how these performance how your performance has evolved over a period of time uh, in different uh, subjects and particularly the mains exam is also going to be assessed your answer writing skills are going to be uh, assessed quite frequently which plays a very important role in your rank in your final rank and also your interview preparation the way you are uh, de delivering your message and all these things are going to be properly assessed as we said every student is unique and the level at which they start preparation is also different so we are conducting artificial intelligence based performance linked examination that means we will have a repository of questions thousands of uh, prelims questions mains questions and essay questions so based on the performance of a student if you feel that the student performance is still in a low level we will be giving him only the easier set of questions level one questions mostly from the ncrt's as he is improving gradually the level of the questions will also be increased to level two then level three then level four in that way so that the confidence of the students will be building up generally we should not be giving the same kind of questions to two different students who are preparing at two different levels one student may be far advanced whereas other student may be just a beginner so the kind of question should be changed that's why we have come up with this artificial intelligence based test series which will not only help the student to build confidence but also go through step by step in a progressive way 
still he goes to the highest possible level required for the UPSC prelims as well as means examination. General perception about uh, today's mains and answer writing and uh, practice test is that we need to fill the papers and write more points. For example, some peop some candidates are thinking that if it is 10 marks, we have to write 10 points. If it is 15 marks, we have to write 15 points. But uh, that that approach is not always uh, working out because mains civil service mains answer writing is all about understanding the demand of the question and trying to address the question properly if it is opinion based you have to give your opinion substantiate your opinion it's not that you you need to write uh, all the knowledge that you know about the topic so we follow a standard operating procedures here a standard protocol a standard procedures uh, to when it comes to evaluation of the mains answer writing we we provided a rigorous training to the evaluators to adhere to this uh, standard procedures when it comes to mains answer writing evaluation for example if you take any question whether the introduction introduction is proper or not whether the candidate understand the demand of the question and trying to address the demand of the question or not whether there is the coherence among the points he wrote or not and uh, whether any uh, creativity like whether he is trying to convey the uh, convey the uh, demand of the question through flowchart or through maps or any other creative work that he can do in answer writing which which fetches for a candidate more marks and we also look for a proper conclusion so that it gives the completeness to the question and means answer writing this uh, uh, this standard procedure or this standard protocol we follow for evaluation will definitely makes the candidate more per uh, makes the more perfect in answer writing yes, yes. like how tripatharao has said the evaluator would be giving certain amount of marks for each thing introduction are you able to introduce the answer with proper points then opinion are you able to give your opinion which is evidence based which has a proof third is are you able to integrate the current affairs into the answer fourth is are you able to conclude your answer you know properly fifth one are you able to mention different dimensions in your answer like that like how tripathra sir said the evaluator all our evaluators will be following the same methodology same procedure of evaluating the paper giving the mocks however we not only give the mocks but also let the student know in which aspects where he is standing so that tomorrow if the student wants to evaluate his own paper if the students want a student wants to do self assessment he will be able to compare with our evaluation and he can do self assessment this actually works out a lot for the mains examination not only the evaluator the candidate should be able to self assess his own answers and how his answer changing over a period of time to add to this conversation on answer writing the most common mistake that is done is we don't answer to a given question we should always answer to a given question which is the most common mistake and the difficult one to address so we give a special concern a special focus on this issue again uh, one thing the candidates uh, should understand is that there is a difference between essay writing and uh, gs answer writing gs answer writing is about uh, your knowledge and trying to address the question properly but essay writing is uh, is properly understanding the topic and trying to address in multi dimensional aspects and bringing about uh, into the uh, topic your experience and you can start with anecdotes so essay writing is again a skill uh, which is different from general general studies answer writing for that how can we we, we need uh, we need to attend this skill how can what we do at the institute is that every week we take a essay writing class for one hour and every sunday we ask the candidates to write an essay and submit we mostly focus on the previous year's essay 
essays uh, that were asked in the UPS examinations. We take the repository of all the previous year essay topics and we segregate them into different uh, categories. Like one is uh, like uh, education, one is an health sector, one is an agriculture sector, one is an international relations, or one is the philosophical topics, or one is the personal experience. We every week one uh, topic is asked from each category and we'll identify the what are the mistakes committed by the students and we'll give proper feedback so by the time they finish the coaching or by the time they appear for the exam uh, each student uh, will write at least 50 to 60 essays which is more than uh, required for a essay writing proper essay writing um, proper essay writing and to get more marks even in the evaluation of essay writing generally we do not try to add lot of knowledge or points to the candidate we will not be telling him that you forgot this point you have to add this point we will not telling them because essay writing every candidate will have his own style some people write in a creative way some people write in a more informative way some people write more of opinions and current affairs some people write most of the government schemes and from there what we can do so every candidate is different so it's wrong to put all the candidates in the same box and tell them the same points in the evaluation so what we do is we observe the style of the candidate to his style to enrich his style what other dimensions he has to add of course there will be some basic things that every candidate has to follow along with those things we will try to enrich the style of the candidate however one common thing that we different different look for in essay rating is multi-dimensional perspective whatever question is given he should be able to write some four to five perspectives historical perspective of the topic you know economic perspective political perspective or international perspective of the topic like there's some four to five dimensions he should be able to include in the essay writing that's what we look for while evaluating the essay and we have a separate team of faculty who evaluate the essays essays not only evaluating they follow up the student whether the student is able to progressively increase his you know style of essay writing whether is able to improve in essay writing that we will follow and we will give personalized feedback i think that actually helps though this is online course that actually helps the candidates so as far as films is concerned prelims is a balance between your knowledge and practice practice is very important when it comes to prelims uh, you need to inculcate your own habit of eliminating the options in a given question that you can inculcate only by practicing so that plays a very important role so a lot of practice a lot of model papers are to be practiced so that you will create your own style of eliminating the uh, options so in our online platform we are going to in our test series we are going to have questions graded at different levels so when you write an exam and when you see the assessment of the exam you will clearly know how many questions are you have uh, you are able to answer in a grade one in grade two in grade b so that you will be in a position to know that okay your level is at this stage at a certain position and how you can improve uh, whether you are in a position to answer the tough questions or not are you able to answer the moderate questions effectively or not are you missing out on simple questions or not see if you are missing out on simple questions you are making a big blunder in your preparation that should not be the case so this kind of wholesome approach is going to be there in our film test series coming to the personality test to you know to help them uh, ace the interview preparation what we do is instead of giving mock interviews only after the mains examination every week we spend one hour of time we will be you know bringing in senior IAS officers who spend some time with the students and try to explain them about various aspects of the personality test in the UPSC so that during the preparation itself while reading current affairs while reading the standard material they will try to develop opinion on various issues and this opinion goes in a long way in helping them get good marks in the personality test similarly communication is something which cannot be improved just in one or two months so throughout the preparation along with these classes by the senior IAS officers we will be keeping some classes two to three hours per month wherein they can learn how to communicate effectively 
in a better way particularly will focus on the students whose communication skills are poor however students who have already got a good communication skill because of coming from some good colleges or good background such students we will not be spending much time on improving their communication skill in that way we do not treat all students equal when it comes to mains answer writing or prelims or personal development each student will be strong in one area weak in another areas so we focus on the weaker areas so that we can strengthen them that's all because civil service is examination of averages they should be above average across all the dimensions all you know parts of the examination to ace the examination